What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today we're talking all about tree saddle bridges. What is a bridge you might ask? Well a bridge is a very important piece of gear on your saddle for saddle hunting. It's the piece of rope or webbing that connects your saddle to your tether. Your bridge goes from one hip to the other and there's lots of different choices and different types of ropes and webbing that you can use for a bridge, but that's the piece of kit that allows you to attach safely to your tether. So here's an example. You can see these hanging behind me, all these different options. But if this is your saddle, this is a sit drag saddle, your bridge goes from one hip to the other hip. This happens to be a bridge made of tubular climbing webbing, very strong, uh, and a lot of folks use this option. Starting over here on the far right, this is the trophy line tree saddle. You can see that it has a very short webbing bridge, very thick. One of the downfalls of this is that it didn't slide very good through a carabiner. So when you rotate in your saddle from left to right, from hip to hip, to either maneuver for a shot or to move around the tree, this slides through your carabiner. And this webbing is thick and bulky and it didn't slide very well. So not my favorite bridge. This is the Arrow Hunter Kestrel. This is a fantastic bridge. It comes with Samson Predator. This is an 11 millimeter climbing rated rope, extremely strong, slides very well through a bridge. This is a great bridge option. This is the bridge I use on my DIY saddles. I made this saddle and I use quarter inch am steel blue. This is a very, very thin rope, a very, very slippery rope. There's no knots in this rope. Uh, generally, when you tie a knot in a climbing rope, it weakens it some percentage, 30%, 50%, the, depends on the rope and it also depends on who you ask. This bridge is spliced back into itself. There's no knots. It's a little bit stronger. You don't lose as much strength in the rope. Uh, so there's really no right answer to a bridge. Like I said, you can also use tubular webbing in your bridge. Whatever suits your style of hunting. I prefer the am steel. A lot of people prefer climbing rope. Some people prefer a webbing bridge that's like this, but maybe not quite as robust. However it works for you, just remember your bridge is very important. In your saddle, you pivot from left to right in your bridge, and it also connects directly to your carabiner coming off your tether. That's how you hook up in the saddle. Another important thing to remember about your bridge, the length of your bridge relates directly to how comfortable your saddle is. A longer bridge generally is gonna be more comfortable. A shorter bridge, maybe not so much. It's gonna add to hip squeeze or hip pinch where your saddle connects with your hips and feels like it's just kind of constricting on your hips. If you feel hip squeeze in your saddle, get a longer bridge and change where you hook up on the tree. Maybe lengthen that or raise it or lower that a little bit. But generally, a longer bridge is gonna be more comfortable. Most guys tend to like the 24 inch bridge. That's a good starting place. Uh, I recommend you start somewhere around there and then shorten, lengthen a little bit and see what works for you. I like a 28 inch bridge. Uh, that seems to be what works for me, but I'm sure I could be comfortable in a 24 or a 30. Uh, I just prefer a 28 inch bridge. So thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully it makes sense and hopefully you learned a little bit more about how to be a better saddle hunter. 